If it's not on your bucket list yet, time to add it. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons to visit Latvia. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most compelling arguments as to why you should visit this Baltic nation. Number 10. Lake Rosna Latvia is a nation rich in natural beauty, and in few places is that more obvious than at Lake Rosna. This body of water is so precious, an entire national park was established in 2007 with the express purpose of protecting it. Often referred to as the gem of eastern Latvia, Rosna National Park is located in Latgala, an area so abundant in lakes it has in turn been called the Land of Blue Lakes. But even though it finds itself with a lot of competition, Lake Rosna succeeds in standing out from the bunch. Because of its impressive size, it's even sometimes referred to as the Sea of Latgala. Number 9. Jurkanna All the way across the country on its western shore lies the delightful small village of Jurkanna. While the village itself does make for a perfect destination for a quaint little getaway, the real reason you're here is the shoreline. The Jurkanna Bluffs will simply take your breath away. A picturesque seashore, Jurkanna remains largely untouched, with the only significant human impact in the area being the people who come here to camp and appreciate its natural glory. Atop the bluffs, some of which can reach upwards of 65 feet in height, majestic pine trees grow, many of them with their roots exposed. Come here and pitch a tent atop the bluffs to enjoy a Baltic sunset like no other. Number 8. Aglona Basilica Whether you're drawn specifically to houses of worship or not, everyone can appreciate the architecture and rich history of the Aglona Basilica, also known as the Basilica of the Assumption. In addition to being considered the single most culturally important Catholic church in the country, the basilica also serves as a stunning example of late Baroque architecture. In keeping with the style, the interior of the basilica is sumptuously decorated and further distinguished by the use of columns, cross vaults, and arches. Just make sure to check the calendar before you visit. On certain days of religious celebration, it's known to draw upwards of 25,000 people. Number 7. The Song and Dance Festival Speaking of large crowds, no other gathering in Latvia is bigger than this one. A celebration of traditional Latvian culture, the Song and Dance Festival dates back to the early 19th century and is held approximately every five years. So you'll want to check the schedule before booking your trip to make sure the two line up. While it might seem a bit crazy to be planning your vacation around something that occurs so infrequently, trust us when we say that the Song and Dance Festival makes for an utterly unique cultural experience. On an average festival year, the event draws 40,000 performers. Yep, you heard that right, 40,000 performers, not spectators. And with the Latvian Youth Song and Dance Festival scheduled on an alternating five-year cycle, there's actually only two and a half years between festivities. Number 6. Gaia National Park Latvia is a country that clearly prioritizes protecting its green spaces. As evidenced by its four national parks, 42 nature parks, and 260 nature reserves, plus other areas fitting under different categories of preservation. When all said and done, a full one-fifth of the nation has been designated protected land. Each national park has something special to offer, but if you only have the chance to visit one, make it Galia. Located northeast of Riga, Galia is not only home to 900 plant species, 149 varieties of birds and dozens of mammals, but it's also populated by some 500 monuments and cultural relics, including castles and ruins. Number 5. Cape Kalka Like the tip of a spear dramatically piercing the waters of the Baltic Sea, Cape Kalka is the westernmost point of the Gulf of Riga. Here you'll find a village that shares the Cape's name, as well as a lighthouse, but it's the beach that's of most interest. Cape Kolka Beach is perhaps one of the world's most underappreciated and overlooked. The average temperature is definitely on the low side, but it's wonderfully remote and breathtakingly beautiful. If you're up for an adventure, one can also go visit a number of Livonian settlements, such as Saunags, Pitrags, and Vaida, which dalt the Baltic shoreline of the larger Kolka Parish. Number 4. Food Get ready for a good eat. Because of the climate, Latvian cuisine is very seasonal and hearty, and skews towards staples like potatoes, cabbage, barley, and eggs. And given how distinct each season is, what a visitor eats can vary dramatically depending on the time of year. The most popular dishes tend to be extremely comforting and often deliciously buttery. Don't forget to try carbonada, a pork cutlet similar to schnitzel. 
Latvia's capital city, Riga, has also become something of a foodie and restaurant hub. Plus, if you visit in spring, you can try a glass or two of birch sap. Number 3. Daugavpils Located in southeastern Latvia, the city of Daugavpils is the country's second largest and lies close to the neighboring nations of Belarus, Lithuania, and Russia. Of the three, it's the latter that has the most influence, despite technically being the furthest away. As you probably already know, the geographical history of the Baltics is rather messy. The city known today as Daugavpils previously went by the name of Dinaburg and was previously part of the Russian Empire. Though Latvia gained its independence from the latter in 1918, the population of Daugavpils to this day remains overwhelmingly Russian-speaking. In no small part thanks to its complicated history, Daugavpils is an architecture lover's delight, boasting a beautiful historic center and a fortress. Number 2. Tsaisis Castle Of the many castles and ruins that dot Latvia's landscape, Tsaisis Castle is arguably the most impressive and interesting to visit not only due to its history, but also because it's the best preserved. Its foundation dates all the way back to the early 13th century. Considered a Baltic must-visit, it bears the distinction of having once been under siege by none other than Ivan the Terrible. The structure has weathered many attacks and taken a fair amount of damage over the years, but each ugly chapter only adds to its historical importance and the fascination surrounding it. Number 1. Riga Without a doubt, the biggest reason to visit Latvia is its capital city. As mentioned, its vibrant food scene does not disappoint, but the biggest highlight of any trip to Riga has to be the city's historical center. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, it boasts some truly inspiring architecture, including buildings in the Art Nouveau and 19th century wooden construction style, as well as delightful streets full of colorful little homes and storefronts. Then there are the incredible church spires. In Riga, tradition and modern lifestyle trends blend in a unique fashion that one really needs to experience firsthand to fully appreciate. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.